Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. As Sarah exits briefing, Hot Mike catches devastating remark: "She suffered too much." After White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders finished answering a question about EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt, she ended her latest press briefing. Sanders really got into it with a number of reporters this last Tuesday during questions over the president and his administration. It was a very contentious exchange. She even had to tell one of the reporters to stop talking so she could answer a question. But as bad as the press briefing was, one of the ugliest moments came afterward on a hot mic as Sanders ended the press briefing. As she was walking out of the room Playboy White House reporter Brian Karam was caught on video shouting, What color is the sky in the president's world? That's rude and insulting. This is Karam's way of jabbing at President Trump, insinuating that he operates in an alternate universe. It isn't the first time this particular reporter has attacked Sanders and Trump and it won't be the last. He really should have his press credentials pooled. If you can't act like a professional, then you don't belong in the White House press briefings. This is the level of civility and discourse the press currently shows to the Trump administration. Sarah did not bother to answer, she just continued on out of the room. I don't blame her. She was correct in not dignifying the hateful question with a response. Never feed the trolls. And Karim doesn't know when he's making a fool of himself either. Later, he retweeted someone's compliment about his question. I just want the questions answered, he tweeted. No, he didn't. He just wanted to be combative and try and embarrass Sarah and President Trump. Karim shouted at Sanders last month, has the president ever lied to us? She didn't answer him then either. This wasn't the first time Karim caught media attention for something rude he did in the briefing room. Last year, he accused Sanders of inflaming American resentment toward the media. Come on, you're inflaming everybody right here, right now, with those words, he said after Sanders suggested the media should scrutinize its reporting more. After that particular exchange, Karim told MSNBC's Morning Joe that the White House bullied the press. I mean, there's really only two ways to deal with a bully, you either turn them into your friend, I don't think that's a possibility, or you can let them know exactly what's up and that you're not gonna take the bullying anymore, he said. So brave and yet so not. Sanders repeatedly refused in that press briefing to answer reporters' questions about her credibility and whether statements she's made are accurate. Sarah has been nailing the media all week long over their coverage of President Trump and the fact that they insist on writing on stuff that no one cares about. The Washington Post White House correspondent Josh Dossie asked Sanders if a statement she made in August about the special counsel was accurate. I know you want to get me into a back and forth with you on this conversation, Sarah stated. Dossie claimed that he wasn't after a back and forth and that he just wanted to know if her statement was accurate. I work day in, day out, and I believe, frankly, with the majority of you here in the room, I think you all know I'm an honest person who works extremely hard to provide you with accurate information at all times," she said. In that same briefing, Breakfast Media White House correspondent Andrew Feinberg told Sanders that President Trump is repeatedly making comments that aren't true. He wondered why reporters and Americans should trust information coming from the White House if it's been discovered to be false in the past. I work every single day to give you accurate and up-to-date information, and I'm going to continue to do that. She responded. Frankly, I think my credibility's probably higher than the media's. She's 100% correct on that point. Sanders has far more credibility than the media does. I think that if you spend a little bit more time reporting the news instead of trying to tear me down, you might actually see that we're working hard trying to provide you good information, she added. President Trump has also been jabbing the press for its coverage of his wife's so called disappearance as she recovered from surgery in the privacy of the White House with her loving family around her. The fake news media has been so unfair, and vicious, to my wife and our great first lady, Melania, he tweeted on Wednesday. During her recovery from surgery they reported everything from near DH, to facelift, to left the WH, and me, for NY or Virginia, to abuse. All fake, she is doing really well. It's no wonder that Americans despise and distrust the media anymore. They see how they treat people like Sarah and President Trump. How they lie and twist the facts to fit a political agenda. Karim is one of the worst, just as CNN's Jim Acosta and April Ryan are as well. None of these people are true journalists. They are gossip columnists and instigators. Karim's insult is just more proof of that. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.